boreal forest they are also called as siberian forests they are also called as coniferous forests the coniferous forests they are north of the temperate grasslands the north of temperate grasslands so aapko yaad hai agar same diagram i'll go back to okay the british type of climate the temperate grasslands the laurentian type of climate ye 50 55 ki baat ho rahi hai iske north mein ye continuous stretch hai 60 65 70 type ka like about 60 70 ke range mein approximately a continuous belt okay the british type of climate the temperate grasslands and the laurentian climate theek hai the north of this they're almost continuous east west hai they are developed mainly in the northern hemisphere so ye canada mein hai we find this in norway sweden and of course the extensive russia the largest stretch russia mein hai aur canada mein hai the continuous east west and if you remember a bit of your upper tropospheric circulations mein yahan par you have the effect of upper tropospheric rossby waves the rossby waves can create conditions for rainfall the rains yahan par are because of upper tropospheric conditions yahi areas mein you will have the effect of uh, temperate cyclones air masses so when the rossby waves are moving like this on the top uh, they create some conditions yahan pe air masses and fronts ka bahut important role hai okay, the impact of temperate cyclones the impact of air masses fronts and uh, jo rainfall hai around 70 cm hai but the temperatures are very less the summer temperatures can be around 20 25 degree centigrade and the winters can be minus 30 minus 40 the winters can be minus 30 minus 40 degree centigrade that's why the area ko the area has one of the highest annual range of temperatures range is 30 35 yahan par 50 60 ka hoga when you say siberia siberia ka do part hai na yahi siberia hai aur siberia ka ek part steppes bhi hai okay to siberia general nahi bolenge but if you say siberian boreal forest then it's okay humne keh sakte hain 40 50 okay but on an average yahi range hai so these areas have one of the highest annual range of temperature summers can be 20 25 winters can be minus 30 minus 40 theek hai the boreal forests coniferous forests acha some of uh, the important species are jo pine species hain pine species like fir 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 larch spruce s p r u c e spruce and uh, these species are these species are evergreen species and also deciduous ones jaise ki jo birch hai birch is a deciduous variety of conifer acha yahan ke jo soils hain the soils are not very fertile the soils are not fertile the soils are a special type called as podzols uh, ye acidic soils hote hain they are not good for cultivation they are formed because of some reaction with certain chemicals of the pine leaves so they are formed they are formed because of certain chemicals called as chelating agents of the pine leaves they are special type of soils hain they are acidic soils they are not good not good for agriculture aur waise bhi okay yes this areas because of acidic conditions yahan ka jo humus hota hai okay this is not good quality the humus ek special type hai isko bolte hain more humus m o r there are two types of humus ek hai mull humus m u l l which is good aur ek hota hai more humus m o r more more humus banta hai in conditions when the soil is acidic इसलिए होता है बिकॉज ऑफ दिस पाइन लीव स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ केमिकल्स दैट मेक इट एसिडिक ऐसे सॉइल्स को बोलते हैं पोर्जोल्स 
so these areas are not good for agriculture more humus and ports also and uh, uh, वैसे भी if you look at the grounds that uh, some some parts some parts of these forests have peri glacial conditions मतलब जो soil moisture है it's frozen they have peri glacial का मतलब है that they have frozen soil moisture the ek aur reason hai you can't have cultivation although the surface the surface can melt but the soil moisture hai it remains frozen is conditions ko bolte hain peri glacial p e r i g l a called as the peri glacial conditions certain chemicals called as chelating agents chemicals called as c h e l a t h i n g chemicals called as chelating agents theek hai so boreal forest ka the main human activity one is hunting they hunt uh, small animals okay for their fur they hunt animals hunting for fur hunting for their meat and another very important activity is lumbering lumbering is pine trees cutting for paper industries called as lumbering lumbering and hunting are the traditional important activities so lumbering kis season mein ki jati hai the cutting is done in in the winters why winters mein aap trees ko snow mein kheench sakte ho usko pile up kar dete hain rivers mein aur jab melt hota hai river tab wo trees okay with the river water they will flow down okay so the cutting of trees the lumbering is an activity in the winters so that those uh, cut uh, trees can be dragged on the snow they are farmers jo hai they are like farmers so inka kaam kya hota hai winters mein in the winters they pack their suitcases and they go into the forest inhi ko bolte hain suitcase farmers they called as suitcase farmers winter khatam hoga wapas aa jate hain suitcase farming or suitcase farmers the term used for ye ye jo kaatte hain kya bolte hain ye farmers ko kya bolte hain yes uh, the right term because farmers they are not like traditional farmers they is a ped kaat rahe hain right they called as lumberjacks they called as lumberjacks yeah.